So it's Friday evening, I am just about to get into the weekend and spend some quality time with my family. But I've been inundated today with questions regarding the last video that I put out. The video where I said I'd had some success indexing manually some URLs on my mega website. And Stephen, Stephen Little, you was right. So Stephen was one of the people who commented and said, have faith, it's a good website, you've got a good plan in place and all will work out. And yeah, usually this comment is left by my wife who says, ha ha ha, I told you so. So let's get into this in a little bit more detail. Hi and welcome back to the channel again. I am going to do this video very quickly. As I said, it's Friday night and I didn't have this video planned, but two things have happened today. So number one, I've been inundated with people asking me about the process that I did with manually indexing my articles on the mega website that's had some issues over the past few months. People are getting a little bit confused of what I've been doing and some people was surprised that what I'd done hadn't worked already. So that's the first thing we'll talk about. And the second thing I'm gonna talk about is I got a call from a friend of mine today, my old boss in fact, from seven or eight years ago, who asked me if I could come into my old work to help out, because he was really short staffed. And that got me really thinking. So, and I think it's worth covering in this video. So first of all, let's talk about the Google indexing issue. So as you can see from the screenshot now, there are other people who's also had issues. I know many, many bloggers over the past year, in fact, maybe even two years, have been struggling with maybe one or two URLs or articles not actually getting indexed by Google and appearing in the SERP index. So that has been a known issue. Many of you have contacted me and said you're having the same problems. And the people that I just put up on the screen now are two bloggers that's also had this issue. But as I say, I was manually indexing articles. Now, this is where people were getting it wrong. I've not been indexing the same article over and over and over and over to try and get it indexing every single day. I've been doing about 30 or 40 per month and then leaving it, seeing if it works, and if it didn't, try it again next month. And I've been doing that for many, many months to no joy. Until recently, like I say in the last video, you'll know that suddenly it started to work. Now, a few of you actually emailed and commented and messaged me in my Discord group and said, maybe it's a fad, maybe it's a one-off, maybe you've seen a little bit of joy and, and nothing's gonna come of it. Well, if you look at the screen now, this is a screenshot from Google where I search site colon and the URL of my website. And as you can see, this was taken 24 hours ago and it found 78 articles. That's out of 350. But if you look at the screenshot now, after manually indexing many, many articles over the last four or five days, you can see I performed the same search in incognito mode, Again, same site, colon, URL, and it's found over 190 articles and now in the index. So people can now find over 120 more articles than they would 24 hours ago. Now, I didn't manually index over 120 extra articles, but I think the articles that I did manually index and Google has now found upon the SERPs, Obviously I had internal links, so Google's been able to crawl those sites, it's found them, it's crawled the URLs, and it's now found other articles. So just managing to manually index 30 or 40 new articles has really helped push a lot more articles up into the SERP index because Google's now crawled them and found them. So that is fantastic news. And like I say, I wanted to bring you this video because there are a lot of people getting it misconfused. They thought it was one URL or it was just uh, an entire website of every article that I couldn't get indexed, i.e. not a site map available, something like that, but it wasn't. I just wanted to make it clear that it was the articles that Google was not picking up on their own through crawling the website randomly. It was articles that I have been manually indexing a bunch of different ones to try and get them to rank. So touch wood, we've gone from 78 articles that people can read to 196 articles, and it seems to be improving day on day. So if you've been struggling, it might be worth you trying to manually index a few articles, maybe pick 10 that you cannot find in the SERP index anywhere, nobody can find them, manually index those 10 and then check it. If it doesn't work, give it a week and then try those same 10 again 
and see if it does pick them up. I'm not saying it's a total cure. I still have websites that's struggling, certain articles that's struggling. It's not a total fix by any means, but it has worked on this website. Now that brings me to the next topic I wanna to talk about quickly today. Like I said, my friend called me, asked me, can I go into work? And these are colleagues that I've not seen for several years. In fact, many of them I don't know, they're new colleagues. And when I went into that workplace and I helped them out for a few hours today, they were really surprised by the job I do and giving up a managerial position and why and what I do. They were really surprised. And it really got me thinking because one of them said, you know, was it risky giving up a solid income for something that you really, it's a bit of a gamble, it's a bit of a risk. And I turned around to them and I said, well, no, not really, because I know there's a process behind what we do and I know it works. And that got me thinking that this comment that we saw from Stephen is right. I told you so. I knew it would work because there is a system to blogging and publishing content online. It's not a magical spell. It's not a myth. It's not a get rich quick scheme. There is a process and a system in place. Everything from choosing a niche, doing keyword research, writing great content, on-page and off-page SEO. There are many different structures to write in a blog post and producing a successful affiliate website, but it is possible and there is a bit of a roadmap to it. And if you stay true to yourself and do the process day in, day out, they all say now rinse and repeat, it is pretty much that, then hopefully you will see some success. Now, I'm not saying everybody will see some success because I've had sites that fail. In fact, I still have some that I class as a failure. But if you keep at it, there's a much bigger chance that you are going to be successful. A statistic I put out in an email that I sent out today, 80% of bloggers fail because they give up. They don't see success as quickly as they would like and they give up. And what I said in that email is, I told you so. Keep trying keep going. Do not be one of those 80% statistics that fail. Be that 20% statistic that carried on and succeeded. And that's what you need to do. Only give up when you know you absolutely can say, I have done my best. I am I'm burnt out. I've done my best. I've tried everything I can. It is not working. Then it may be time to try something new. But like I say, I want this to be a little bit of an inspirational message to you because I had almost given up on that mega website. I really had. I put $20,000 into that website and I'm getting about 10 cents per day. And as I mentioned in the previous video, that would take me around 340 years to get my money back. So hopefully now with a lot more content out on the internet, on the World Wide Web, I should get my money back a little bit quicker. So thanks very much for all the comments I had. I hope I've answered some of those questions or queries you might have had about the process and what I'd done. I hope if you was having any issues, I hope this will fix it and help you out. If not, be patient, keep trying. As Stephen Little says, I told you so, it will work in the end.